All right, gonna be taking a look at stock ticker symbol F I L M film. We're currently at triple zero six right now. Uh, the volume right now currently is at 203 million shares traded, uh, looking right at a possible record volume day here. Yes, it's very, very possible you can hit a record volume day here. Uh, from the looks of it, yesterday was going to be 302 million shares traded. So far today, again, 203. And you're only at 11 a.m. Eastern. So, uh, quite a ways to go here. Uh, on the 25th, you guys closed at 0004 and then opened today at 0004, hitting that high, a 0006, right there at the 20-day simple moving average, right there. And you guys would need to break a 0008 to, you know, possibly make a nice pop here. Might, it might run um, really nice coming off that 0002 here. I, I would definitely watch that as well. Uh, again, like I said, the 30-day simple moving average right now is currently at 0008, breaking that could set you guys up for higher moves, in my personal opinion, as well. There we go. So off of that, I would be looking at 001 again, uh, and then it looks like it'll start spreading off of there. So zero, a triple zero 008 and then 11, one, one, or 10 one rather, and then 15 would follow. Uh, so keep in mind, you guys break that 8. I, I think that this one could be set up for a nice pop here. I would, I would put it on the radar. It's starting to look really nice right now. All right, so was, did I ever go over this one with you? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's been a while. First, yeah. Twenty uh, first of last month. Uh, uh this, this month. month. All right. All right. So, um, these guys had a press release today. It's Creative Works enters formal agreement to fund independent horror film. So, Creative Works Incorporated is pleased to announce that it has entered into a formal agreement with Runaway Enterprises Incorporated. To fund the development of a full-length horror film vineyard, the project, the funds to develop the project will be advanced by creative under a loan structure repayable in two years, bearing interest rate, interest at a rate of 8% per annum. The loan and repaid back on a priority basis out of tax credits and box office receipts. Creative will also be granted 25% of all net revenues generated by the project and perpetuate uh, Perpetuity, sorry. Uh, we are very pleased that we are able to enter the, the funding agreement with Runaway on schedule, stated Lisa Nelson, president of Creative. We were able to do this because of the professionalism shown by the Runaway team and we are very much looking forward to working with them, developing this project and more in the future, continued Ms. Nelson. At this time, Creative would like to introduce to shareholders Mr. Matt Eskandera, Eskandari, who will be directing the project. Mr. Eskandari made his feature film directorial debut with the psychological thriller Victim, which premiered at the renowned Cannes Film Festival or Cannes Film Festival. The controversial work was distributed, uh, dist controversial work was distributed by IFC Films for third Theater, oh, these are all tongue twisted. Theatrical release and hailed by Ain't It Cool News as a thinking man saw in both original and disturbing Mr. Esther Dari's next feature film, The Gauntlet, starring international stars Bay Ling, Warren Cole, and Dustin what? Nugent, was released as there, Games of what? Game of Assassins by Longsgate Studios. The film was recognized by the Chinese Film Bureau, film Bureau as the first U.S.-China low-budget genre film to be entirely produced in China and was featured in Newsweek, MSNBC, Daily Variety, Fortune, and Reuters for its groundbreaking, groundbreaking global approach to movie production. As an alumnus of the prestigious University of Southern California School of Cinema and Television, Matt has directed various award-winning films, the Taking Stan Winston Award of Best Film was featured as USC's centerpiece for their 2008 annual short screenings. The film propelled him to nationwide exposure when he was chosen by Steven Spielberg from a pool of 12,000 candidates to participate in the Fox filmmaking competition on the lot. All right, so that's that. So this, this is the gentleman that will be directing the project. 
All right, so uh, if you want to continue doing more due diligence on the company, just go right over to the FILM board over there on Investor Hangout. From there, you see the company profile, the time and sales, the recent news, the filings, the financials, the buy rating. And as always, if you have an opinion on the company, feel free to share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have using the site daily by posting right over there on that Creative Works Incorporated board. All right, so all that information that Joe was just going through over here on InvestorsHangout.com, completely free. Everything at your fingertips, all the information, time and sales, recent news, all of it right here. Triple zero six watch could be setting up for a move here. Uh, and I'm going to update that. That's where it was. It's triple zero six where it's currently at right now. It could be setting up for a move here. In my opinion, a break of triple zero eight, triple zero eight. This can make some moves. Resistance at six, eight, ten and fifteen. Remember, it spreads, especially after that eight and ten. Uh, that's what I'd be watching for support right now is at triple zero four. Uh, triple zero four is going to be a support line followed up by the triple zero two. Can't go too much lower after that. So keep that in mind as well. F I L M. If you follow the stock, make sure you subscribe and get out there and share this video. That's all we ever ask. The more you share it, the more it's requested, the more we cover it. So share it on different social networks, stock message boards, and stock forums. And, uh, we'll be sure to cover it more. And if you'd like to participate in our next live show, you can do so at investorshangout.com forward slash live.